All right, so doing another video here on some more battery mods. One of my some astute previous viewer commented this may be too heavy, and absolutely, I've gone blown one of my motors pretty quick. Um, expecting to receive a pack of motors in only a few days here, so not really concerned about that, but definitely not wanting to to push my motors to that kind of uh, their capacity. Right, I'd like to find a happy medium between runtime of the battery packs themselves per use and the runtime of the motors overall uh, for like lifespan of motors I guess I should say uh, previous video you saw two 2S's that were not in fact two tarantula batteries the tarantula battery is a 7.4 1200 ma 30C and this is just some other battery I had from an old boat which was 7.4 ma of similar C I can imagine so those two had been stacked wired in parallel um, I think maybe if I stack them up like this you can see the connections I did a little bit easier red to red black to black and those of course stacked up within the tarantula itself wired out and I slung my camera beneath and that dropped in a little bit further with the wiring placed within um, too heavy so we're gonna go from that which was two, two S's slung together for somewhere around 3,000 ma total runtime, 7.4 volt, 30 C. We're gonna get rid of that guy. We're going to take two single cells, 850 ma's, 3.7 volts, and we're going to run those in series, kicking this up to an 850 ma, 7.4 volt. And then we're actually going to run that in parallel to these previous connection points of this 7.4 battery. So what we were previously running, I don't even know what the previous weight, because I'm not absolutely certain on the weight of these tarantula batteries, but I think they're about 60 grams. And I know that this thing was certainly more than that, because it was certainly slightly, quite a bit larger actually. Um, I wish someone could comment on what the actual weight is of these guys. I know that these smaller single cells I picked up with 22 grams. So it's gonna be 44 grams right there. And I assume this is around 60 grams. So we're gonna go down to 100 grams of, you know, battery weight and about 2000 milliamp per hour mall runtime from 180, maybe 200 grams, uh, 300 or 3000 mall runtime. So I'm thinking that's gonna be a nice, you know, nice, nice balance. Shouldn't overwork the, the batteries from extended single period run times and uh, the, the weight shouldn't be too much. So that is, that is the current game plan. Um, I think once I've kind of stacked this up, got these two wired in series and then wired in parallel, I'm guessing I'm going to be placing them essentially right on top like that. A little bit of an electrical tape job to make it all like a nice single looking pack but I think that is going to drop quite nicely down into the tarantula. Certainly gonna give me a lot less weight loss, less, you know, it's just not gonna be as big of a pack. Um, that'll go in a little bit further, obviously. And my camera will, will sling underneath there pretty nice and easy. The screenshot for this video will be the final, you know, you know I'll have the quad flipped back up and you'll see them all nicely taped up. Maybe I'll probably sling the camera underneath there as well. That's the game plan.